Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Friday the 2nd of August 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Druidcraft Tarot deck by Philip and Stephanie Cargom. Okay, let's see what wonderful message Spirit has for us for the end of the week. Wow. Okay. What is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit? For thank you. For Friday, the 2nd of August 2019. Thank you. What do my friends need to know? Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> you have the five of swords followed by the princess of cups and finishing with the eight of pentacles okay so your first card is the five of swords five is the number of crisis and conflict challenge also the number of change transformation here i see that you have been challenged i see that you have overcome this challenge um, this is the time for you to treat this as a healthy challenge because as it's sword energy uh, you are learning valuable lessons here um, also so is the person that's walking away uh, looking a, a little defeated um, lessons being learned by both parties here um, so this is something today um, that you are really going to be benefiting from but all but it is going to be um, a little bit of a challenge but i see you overcoming it um, i do see you being uh, the victor um, but i do see you learning valuable lessons as in maybe not putting this self in this yourself in this situation again um also um learning to be light-hearted about this situation i am hearing okay healthy challenge learning lessons and a bit like yesterday i feel moving on <laughs> okay next we have the princess of cups this is a youthful energy so this is a, um, a possible new beginning this is a potential new opportunity uh, as i look at this princess i see someone who is sensitive I, I, and as in um i feel extra sensitive as in the um kind of post-traumatic stress as in um hsps um and highly strung actually I, i'm hearing because i'm looking at all the red and i'm thinking about my ruby being red and how highly strung she can be on occasion um so i'm really drawing on a real oh, wow a real sensitive energy today um really aware of your atmosphere uh, I'm feeling to the point of um, maybe the hairs on your arms going up kind of um, or oh, you're a walking antenna wow I, I feel like you're a walking antenna today um, this princess you, you, you see she has her eyes closed so uh, she's kind of not using her vision but she's using all of her other senses um, she is although her eyes are closed i want to say that she's waking up and smelling the roses um 
and I see look she's standing on firm ground so um, I really feel that you do feel safe um, on solid ground um, and from that perspective it's giving you time to um, be more aware uh, drink in the atmosphere around you um, be sensitive to um, those around you and the uh, environment around you wow walking antennas today <laughs> okay and next we have the eight of pentacles lovely number eight the number of abundance the number of manifestation the number of harvest and believing in yourself uh, and here i really see you working hard creating this is focus intention this um this guy here um, really being diligent um, in working away um, producing his harvest here so these pentacles representing his abundance his manifestation here he is in the middle of manifesting uh, he's really really committed um, and he's believing in what he is doing and there's a passion in what he is doing a drive and a focus um and there's, i really feel lots of yellow here so uh, there's clarity so i do feel that he is very clear um in his vision in what he sees himself doing uh in how he can create and manifest um resources and finances and, and assets for himself in the physical oh okay today i feel that some of you are overcoming a challenge um i feel that this challenge really now as we can look, look at it and look back at it is um it's been healthy for you because you've learned some valuable lessons as the person here that's walking away has learned also um i feel that this is a situation that you are moving on and away from um and it's because you are now having this wonderful new perspective this new awareness where you have become this walking antenna of seeing the world uh, with new eyes and its eyes of uh, using your whole awareness not just what you uh, see um, so you are now really highly sensitive highly aware more aware of um what you are thinking and feeling and speaking out into the world um and from this new perspective of, of awareness you realize that you are safe uh you are protected uh and and any little wobbles are just um they're just lessons they're just teaching you something so that you can always keep moving forward looking forward to your future creating your future uh, believing in yourself manifesting um, for yourself with your intention and focus and you putting in the work oh wow <laughs> walking antennas okay Wisdom of Avalon, Colette Baron Reed. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Well, we seem to have been given two, but that's okay. <clears throat> uh, and I feel it's like that. Okay. Let's lower the camera. And we have number 45, love, followed by number 16, the bee, luck, industriousness and sweet victory. Actually, it's that way, which was the way they came and I thought too much. Okay, number 16. The bee. When the bee buzzes on your path, it's a reminder that with hard work 
and a firm commitment to building your dream, a sweet outcome is assured. The bee is a symbol of luck, so expect miracles and your life will be victorious and sweet. Remember that you also create your own luck. That is, effort is essential as you progress along your path in order to make your dreams a reality. The bee is an industrious, busy creature that's always making honey. The bee gets busy and that honey will soon be yours. The bee is always a fortunate omen. So you're not letting anybody pull you off your path, pull you away from your dream. This dream. Wow. Oh, OK. Number 45. Love. This marker reminds you to show kindness and compassion to all whom you meet on your path, be it a beggar on a street corner, a co-worker, a family member, an animal or a plant whose leaves need pruning. This marker asks you to shift perception from yourself as a solitary person on the earth to one who is part of a living system. Wow! Love is what made you, so keep it flowing. Remember to receive love as well. Ask yourself, am I blocking love? This marker reminds you that you're as connected to all of life as it, as it is to you and that you're responsible to be the steward of the love of the God Goddess. Love is without conditions. It is respectful. It is mindful. It sees all life as sacred and it acts in accordance. And love reminds you that this very planet is a living being. Love is the very essence of the divine in you and it sees the divine in others. This is the time to see through the eyes of love and always ask before you act, what would love do? The answer will br always bring you extraordinary power. This marker is a very fortunate and transformative omen. Oh gosh, I don't know why, but I've got a really big lump filling up in my throat and I'm feeling really emotional. There are two fortunate omens, good luck cards. I feel you've been putting in the effort, um, really overcoming challenges. Um, I do feel that I, I felt victory and you're being told it's sweet victory and it's coming because of this wonderful new perspective that you are coming from, uh, seeing the world now through the eyes of love, uh, this walking antenna now that you are, that you are really considering everyone and everything um, around you in your environment and atmosphere. Oh, wow. Manifestation, abundance and harvest, sweet victory, good fortune, good luck omens. Um, and I'm treating this as another one, so I feel like it's three. Wow. <laughs> OK. <clears throat> Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. What is the message for my wonderful friends? Thank you. <clears throat> and of course, we have just had our wonderful um, new moon with extra manifestation powers <laughs> um, and also uh, Mercury. Um, not going um, retrograde anymore. So it's like we've been released from a grip um and we're now on our way to sweet victory i'm really feeling um with the readings a, a real good month coming up for one and all oh yes adventure dare to do things differently manifest your travel dreams move to a new location this is movement this is action, this is journey, this is forward movement. Um, this, I feel, 
for some is a movement in the physical some of you are relocating moving home uh, moving to your dream home uh, and others this is um uh, as I'm feeling that you are doing things differently now, this new way that you are moving through the world with love and with this this walking antenna energy, um, I do feel that you are and have dared to do things differently. It's been a struggle. You've overcome it. And, and for all of that effort that you have put in, it's all coming back to you tenfold, my friends. Wow 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 your life is about to become a wonderful new adventure oh boy that's absolutely brilliant <laughs> well thank you for all of your likes your shares welcome you subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits and thank you too for your warm kind encouraging comments and emails i really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming and so may favor be with you all as i wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed day and until tomorrow my friends goodbye